Hey guys, Guy in a Wheelchair here, and you know what time it is. It's time to make more creationists look like idiots. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. I appreciate it. Today's video is a little different. Today, instead of refuting one single creationist video, we're going to refute a group of videos by the same people entitled Creationist Minute, posted by YouTube user Creationist Moment. Now, each one is a minute long and each one covers a different topic. There's eight of them in total, however, the majority of them are irrelevant, so I've handpicked a few that we're going to cover. This ought to be fun. Let's get started. Welcome to Creation Minute. I'm Eric Hoven. Today, let me give you the evolutionary formula to make a universe. Start with some nothing, add to that some more nothing, then let's add some time. Let's add some more time. We've got it. It's a perfectly balanced universe. Okay, this guy's pissing me off right off the bat. No one thinks the universe came from nothing. The prevailing scientific opinion is that the universe started as an explosion of energy, but energy is something, not nothing. You're completely distorting scientific fact in order to appeal to your audience. You, sir, are a liar. Look at that sun, moon, stars, planets. Everything's orbiting in perfect balance and order. You know, evolutionists theorize that this formula can enable everything to make itself, even people with the exception of complicated man-made things like a microscope or a toothpick, but everything else about us in nature is the result of random chance and time. You don't even need raw materials. Those will make themselves. Again, that is not the formula. Second of all, you're not even discussing evolution. You're discussing the origin of the universe. That's not evolution. And third of all, people win the lottery by random chance, but it happens all the time. Nobody doubts that. Okay. So we made it through the first one. I don't even know if I can handle the second one, but we're going to give it a shot. Here it goes. The second one is entitled Evidence of God. Oh, let's get into it. Welcome to Creation Minute. I'm Eric Hoven. Do you remember the first time somebody told you there is no God? You were thinking, no way. I mean, You'd have to be highly educated to be that ignorant. How did you know what I was thinking? Check it out, guys. This guy's a Christian and a psychic. And you're right. You wouldn't look at a building and wonder if there was a builder. Huh. You know what? Maybe he has a point. Oh, wait. We can see the builder. We can watch the building be built. You don't look at a painting and question if there was a painter. But we can see the painter, and we can watch him paint the fucking painting! At the same time, we do not look at creation and wonder. Was there a creator? No, you don't look at creation and wonder if there was a creator. Because you're okay living in ignorance. The rest of us aren't. The Bible even tells us the invisible things in creation are clearly seen. Oh yeah, great strategy. Use the foundation of your religion to prove that it's true. Great idea. I don't know about you guys, but this guy is really starting to piss me off. I'd be lucky if I can handle one more of these stupid ass videos. Welcome to Creation Minute. I'm Eric Hovind. Does 3 plus 3 equal 6? Why? I mean, seriously, what is the number three? Can you touch it, taste it, smell it, see it? You're thinking, well, yeah, you can see it. It's right there. No, no, no. That is a representation of the number three. If that were the number three, I could do this. There. Now there's no such thing as the number three. You see, mathematics applies immaterial ideas to our material world. Now, some people suggest our world is only material. But how would a material world create an immaterial idea? That is without a doubt the stupidest thing he said so far. First of all, humans have thought. Humans think. Thought is immaterial. Right now, I'm thinking of a new wheelchair. But I don't have it, do I? And second of all, humans came up with 
the thought of an immaterial God. God is immaterial. Humans created that. Answer, it didn't. They are derived from the very nature of God himself. To learn more about the God of creation, visit us at creationminute.com. All I can say, sir, is that you are extremely ignorant, you have no knowledge of the world around you, and you can't speak about these things because you don't know anything about science. You can't disprove science if you know nothing about it. If you know nothing about science, then your worldview is wrong.